Hello, my name is Abu Aysen from Afro Black Africa, a documentary filmmaker and a photographer. And today on Anto Genesis, I tell you about how I crashed my drone. So on one of my travels to Kogwa uh, it was a very cloudy day and I liked the scenery. So I wanted to take some aerial shots and the whole place was cloudy, but I just wanted to take the risk and then fly the drone. So I flew the drone and then it went up high, but the whole place was cloudy. So I couldn't see the drone and when I realized it was almost entering into a light pool and I brought it back and then I was like, you know what, I'm a risk taker, let me fly again. I flew the drone for the second time and then when I realized the drone was in the mango tree, like yo, the drone was in the mango tree, coming down, hit the ground and it was all shattered. Like I broke some propellers and I decided to change the propellers. So after I changed the propellers, I was like, you know what, let me take the risk again. I'm going to fly again. And I decided to fly the drone from my palms. When I flew the drone, all I realized was the drone was coming towards me. So I had to save myself with my palms. And I got some cuts. That was when I realized each arm of the drone has their own propellers. You can't interchange that. So actually, I used the front, the propellers for the front. I used them for the back. So it was flying backwards towards me. And by then, I had already had the cuts. So I faced that and I decided to fly the drone again. That's when I realized my gimbal was stuck because there were some torn wires in the drone. That is one of my biggest hits this entire year, losing my drone. Well, <laughs> it was an experience. It was an adventure to have that experience of, you know, having this thing and then the next second you can just lose it. It's, it's a crazy experience and I really wish nobody should actually experience that with their gears. Go fly, go fly, go fly. So that's how I crashed my drone at Kowa BTV in Ghana. So stay tuned, subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll give you more stories on my experiences.